everyone. I'm going to go over how to replace the hot end on the A5 or the A31. So the tools that you're going to need are all found in the tool bag that came with your printer. You're going to need a 2 millimeter Allen wrench, a 1.5 millimeter Allen wrench, which is the smallest one, this double-sided wrench here, this small nozzle wrench for the printer itself, and then any replacement parts that you might have. So you may have a replacement hot end or maybe just the nozzle, maybe something like this that has the nozzle and one of these little couplers that we put on here, and possibly even a Capricorn tube like this, like this blue one right here, or another white PTFE tube. So what we want to do first is we want to plug in and heat up our printer and remove any filament that might be in it. So once we plug in and take all of our materials out of our printer, then we're ready for the next step, which is unplugging our printer. And then we are going to use our two millimeter Allen wrench to take this fan cover off. And we'll use these two bolts right here because what we want to do is depending on what your maintenance is, you might have to replace this entire tube here, which means this little coupler here, the tube, this coupler here, and the hot end. And to get to all of that, we'll take this fan shroud off to get to this part. Now, if you're just doing the tube, you'll also have to do this because we have to take the hot end off. All right, so now we're gonna go over how to replace the hot end. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to take off the thermistor, which takes the temperature, those are these white wires, and the heater core, that's what these red wires are. So from the new one, we can take this silicone cover off and we can see this little screw right here. When we unscrew that, that's how we pull the thermistor out. And then this little grub screw right here, that's how we use our 1.5 Allen wrench to remove that. So we just loosen this right here. And then this is loose. And then we can use our screwdriver right here from that same bag. And unscrew that. And then now you can see it kind of comes around this to pull it out. And this little glass end, that's what we want to be careful with. That little glass end right there, that's what goes into the hole right there behind this screw and takes the temperature. So now that we've got the new one off, we can take these and keep them for spares. And then we'll go ahead and use our two millimeter Allen wrench to remove the old hot end. We'll take this and kind of set it over here to the side. And then this one right here. Now you want to do this when it's cooled down and it's not hot because now we need to take this silicone off and the same thing. We'll use this little grub screw here and then undo this part right here. Go ahead and get my small Allen wrench. Put it right here. If it comes all the way out, just be careful not to lose it. And then unscrew this part right here. And we can take our old one and set it to the side. Now we can take our new hot end and place these in here. So we'll put that one right there. And then this, we want to be careful with the glass end. It goes into that hole right there and then around the screw. So the screw is loose. So it goes into the hole and then kind of work it around the screw. So the screw will hold it in there. There we go. And then now we've got it in just like that. Now when we tighten this, we don't want to tighten it too tight because it can actually break the wire. We just want to tighten it until it's holding it. So just kind of tighten it. There we go. Just a little bit until it's holding it and it's not moving anymore. And then we can take our 1.5 Allen wrench and we can tighten our heater core and make sure that we line it up to where just a tiny bit is sticking out the end there and then tighten it. 
Now, once this is nice and tight, you can put this silicone heater back on there and put it back on here. Now, make sure you don't twist it around. Make sure that these aren't twisted. Kind of pull it back around. And then we can put these back on here with our two millimeter Allen wrench. I need to kind of wiggle it side to side. There we go. Make sure it lines up to be able to tighten it all the way in. Now, when this is in there, we need to take our old Capricorn tube off. So we're going to use our flat wrench right here. And we can undo this to take our old one off of here. And you'll use the small end and kind of loosen it and then you can untwist it. Now we'll take our new end right here and twist this in right here. Put that in first and get it nice and snug. Not too tight because we don't want to strip it out. Just tight enough to where it's held in there. All the way in, there we go. Awesome. Now, we can take this old part off. And if this is stuck, you can even use the clippers here and clip the old one off. And then we can pull this through here and we can reuse the zip ties. So we'll take our new tube right here and feed it back through both of these zip ties. Whoop, there we go. All right. And then this presses firmly in place right here. And you'll push it all the way in until the teeth lock. So you can push it snugly to push it in there. I can hold the back of my printer to do it and make sure that it locks in place. And you'll kind of feel it pop in there and then you'll feel it's secured. Now this end we'll put into the end of our hot end right here. And this is the part that's tricky. Just like before, we want to make sure that this is all the way down against the nozzle. So push it all the way down in there as hard as you can. Then we're going to loosen the nozzle just a little bit, about a fourth of a turn, maybe a half of a turn. And you might need to take the silicone off like I do to get to it. And then we'll loosen the nozzle. And then when we loosen the nozzle, there we go. Make sure we turn it the right way. Turn to the left. There we go. Just a little bit. Then we make sure we push this tube all the way down. And you'll probably feel it go down just a tiny bit more. And I can even twist this a little bit more and push it all the way down. So we know that it's pushed all the way against that nozzle. Then we'll take this and we'll tighten it back in place. And same thing, we'll watch right here and see that as we tighten it, these will push up. There we go, we can see them rising up. And then we know that the nozzle is seated all the way against our blue tube. And go ahead and twist it real snug, not too much, because we don't want to break it. We get it real tight. Ah, there we go. Because if it's not tight enough, then filament will leak out from the bottom between the nozzle and the heater brick. We'll take our silicone and put it back on here. Now we'll take this and reattach it using our two millimeter Allen wrench. And then what we want to do is calibrate our printer because we change the nozzle or the hot end. So we want to calibrate our printer when we go to print again because the height might have changed just by even a tiny bit. And then now, we'll plug our printer back in, auto-home it, and then print a test print. We should be good to go. You did it. Your printer's all repaired. Good luck, and if you need any help, reach out to service at nwa3d.com.